Yeah, the day I expected happened. After changing the second gear, I lost control because the back end slided and I didn't knew after it was too late. And I was thinking why I'm not putting a gyro, so... <laughs> After rebuilding, we gonna put a gyro, so this thing not gonna happen again. And if we look at the damage, the damage was pretty strong, and I hit this part, it snapped from here, front of the engine, and these parts as well, it's all broken. And if we come to the back, it's only the nut, the arms are fine, only this one snapped off, so we can put a new one, and it will be fine. But for the front, I'm gonna have to replace the whole front chassis, and then everything will be fine. For the arms, only the upper arm of this side is broken and others are fine. So for the next video, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna print anything. I'm gonna send it to PCB way to print the whole parts and then send it to me. And then we're gonna compare it, how strong it is comparing to my prints. This video is sponsored by PCB way. Think about PCB way as all in one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Alright, so I took all the panels off just to see the damages and it's front of the chassis. We can print it, it's not a big deal, but we have to make it better. So for that, I sliced the file for those of you who had a small printer and wanted to make the same project. So I sliced it in four parts. Front part of the chassis will be four and the rear will be four. And you can glue it together, but I changed the file again because aligning together will be a bit hard when you're gluing together. So I made a tabs that will slide in when glued together. And for the filament, I used PAHD CAF from Bamboo Lab. It is a heat resistant and it will resist the heat till 194 degrees Celsius. The good news is we're gonna bring the engine back again. I will do some adjustment for that. I will remove the manual clutch and make it that center figure clutch so it will be easier for driving. Stay tuned for the next video, we're gonna make it looks way better than how it is now. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.